Hey everyone, I'm Karika welcoming you to Get Curried. Today we're going to make my absolute favorite mushroom chili. I love mushrooms. So in this recipe, we're going to use button mushrooms, coat them in a batter, fry them and then toss them in a really nice and spicy sauce just like the name suggests. But if you're a fellow mushroom lover like me, I'm going to have a conversation with you first. Today, of course, we're using these button mushrooms which are regular mushrooms that you find easily. But in the last few months, I've not always found mushrooms easily at a time like that it's very good if you are a mushroom lover like me to keep these dried mushrooms at home these are oyster mushrooms and you just soak them in a little bit of water they plump up and then they're ready to use but for this recipe regular button mushrooms and we're getting started with the batter for the batter here I've got a mix of all-purpose flour or maida and some corn flour or what we call cornstarch to this I'm gonna add some black pepper powder it's a very very simple batter really not too much to it and some salt give that a mix just so that this is mixed in before we add the water once it's mixed I'm going to add in about four to five tablespoons of water I'm not going to add everything in one go let's just mix this together and I'll show you the right consistency we need for this That's the perfect consistency we're looking for to coat these mushrooms and ta-da! I have all the mushrooms here. The larger ones I've cut into quarters, you'll see here. And the slightly medium to small sized ones are just cut in halves. And what I'm going to do is just dunk it. Fingers are best for this. Just dunk these in the batter. I'm going to show you that you need to coat this really well. Make sure that it's coated really well and then you need to drop these into hot oil for frying. So I'll show you the next step. But first I'm going to finish coating all of these. So you can see that I'm frying these and deep frying them on a medium flame and this is why we have a thin coating and not a thick one. Just so that you know it's not very chewy when you eat the mushroom chili later. Look at that. That's how we want this to turn out. I want this to turn slightly more golden and then I'll drain it out onto the paper towel. And we're frying this in batches. Don't overcrowd it. Keep the oil to a high flame and then turn it on to medium because we want the mushrooms to cook through as well. Keep moving them around. Make sure they don't stick to each other. That's the color that we want to reach. Light golden, not too dark. And these are the mushrooms that are also cooked through. So I'm just draining out the first batch, letting it rest on a paper towel so that the oil drains out and then we'll cook the next batch, fry that up. That's the last batch of mushrooms that I'm draining out of the hot oil. Now we'll move on to making the sauce for the mushroom chili. For making the sauce now, I'm starting with some oil. This is leftover oil from frying the mushrooms. And the first thing I'm adding is some finely minced garlic. Also add some finely minced ginger. Take that flame down to slightly low. And swirl that around. I'm waiting for the raw aroma to go away. It'll take seconds literally. Okay. So now I'm going to take the flame back up again. Let this cook for a few seconds now. Oh my god, it smells divine here. I always love this part about cooking Chinese food. For this kind of cooking, I always like to keep my ingredients lined up and ready. You'll see exactly why everything's going to move so fast. I've added some spring onions, the white part that I've just sliced up. Now this is mushroom chili. We need a chili spicy sauce. So I'm adding two green chilies that have been slit into half. Toss that in. I'm taking the flame back up to high now. Nothing should burn here. At this point, when the onions have turned glossy, I'm also going to add some capsicum that's just been sliced up like this. Again, flame back on high, toss, 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 mix. That's so fragrant here. 
you will see that I've let the garlic and ginger reach this brown stage now. I didn't brown it at that stage right in the beginning because it cooks gradually. So now I'm gonna add some pepper powder. Give that a good toss. Let it just nicely coat the capsicum and onion and all. Remember that chili or heat comes from, of course, the chilies and the spices that we add, but also the pepper. Nice, very nice. I'm going to take the flame down to low. And at this stage, I'm adding a mixture of soy sauce, some ketchup and water. Swirl that in. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt at this stage you should ideally taste to see whether your soy sauce is salty enough and whether you want to add the salt. Stir that in. I'm also now going to add the corn flour slurry. It's a mixture of corn flour and water just to thicken the sauce up. Lovely. Add that in and very quickly stir it in as well. Lovely. Immediately now I'm going to add the mushrooms that we had fried earlier so that they nicely take on all the flavor of the sauce. Coat it immediately. It's on a low flame right now. Just toss that in really well and gradually I'm taking the flame up to high. This is a dry preparation. Now if you want to turn this into a gravy, I would suggest that at this stage you can also add one cup of vegetable stock and then add a little bit more corn flour slurry but I love it like this beautiful and because of the coating that we had given to the mushrooms when we fried them you'll see that this spicy sauce sticks to it really well just look at that that's it I'm not going to toss this around too much turn off the flame I'm going to snip in some greens from the spring onion. Just add a little bit more colour and that mild oniony flavour. I'm also going to add a little bit of vinegar. This is plain white vinegar. I add this in the end, right in the end, because this is kind of like how, you know, when we squeeze some nimbu or lim lemon on our dishes. Vinegar has the same effect here. Just brings everything together really well and now we're ready to serve this up. You can see that the sauce has coated the mushroom so well and it stays nice and crisp and spicy. It's just perfect. Just make sure that the mushrooms are patted dry completely before you dip them into the batter for frying and these will turn out perfectly. I hope you stay safe, try this recipe and of course subscribe to Get Curried for loads more.